as I wake on this beautiful day, let's go and check the view. Good morning, Manchester. What's cracking, people? Welcome back to another daily vlog. We are in Manchester today. It is Judgment Day, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I find out, well, I find out what's going on today. Uh, we head up to the Christie for the first day ever, uh, and then oh, that's really it, though. I'm going for like my my original my flight be beginning meeting, getting my blood test done, and then that's pretty much today done. Um, and then it all happens tomorrow, like I get my mask fit tomorrow. But yeah, it should be fun either way. I've got my mum coming up tonight as well to uh, come and check out the crib and uh, spend some time with me, so that'll be quite good. But yeah, I guess we'll crack on with today. If you are brand new, it's all about If you are brand new, hit that like button, do subscribe, I really would appreciate that. Um, we just smashed, like I keep saying, we just smashed 3,000 subscribers. Um, and I'm sure 2060 miles would be over the moon with that. So thank you so much for the for the love and support. Well, let's get cracking with a brand new day. Now I've got manageable hair as well. Love to see it. Let's go. Being a bit naughty this morning, just have us some toast. If you've never had the Tiger bread from Aldi, it is beautiful. This bad boy, it is just insane. Breakfast and catchphrase. Winner. So I do know today is actually a run day, but I'm not sure I fancy running out there, to be honest. So the plan is, we're actually going to go down and use the gym. However, I'm not gonna be able to do that till later on because I've got my appointment's quite early. They, changed, they moved it back even further now, um, which means I'm gonna have to get down there um, earlier than expected. So, um, Hopefully, the plan of action is we'll get into the gym later on after my mum's been uh, and then do the catch 5k in there. That's the plan. Plus, it'll be a little bit more quiet. I don't know if it gets used a lot, but um, the couch 5k is still happening. We're still making it happen. We're still we're still completing it, mate. I'm not letting, just because I'm not at home, I'm not letting that defeat me. So, yeah. I guess we're chilling out for a bit and then I need to get ready to uh, get on the shuttle bus to the Christie. And we are ready to leave. Well, I'll be back here later, obviously. But it's time to head over to the hospital to, um, I guess, have my initial meeting. I'm bringing the bag with me just because I feel like I need something to. Oh, wait, I'll bring my switch. Oh, yeah. So then if I get bored, I've got something to do. Because the way it works is the shuttle bus, I have to get the earlier shuttle bus because my appointment's at one. And there's no way of me getting on there on time. If without getting, if I get the later one. So I've got to get the earlier one, which is a bit of a shame, but I'll bring me switch, sorted. Look how foggy it is, there's an actual building over there, you just can't see it because it's that foggy. How crazy is that? Chloe's leaving me. Goodbye, Chloe. And we are now alone, Wolf, in Manchester. Let's do it, though. Let's get to the Christie. My appointment's officially at one o'clock. We just stopped and had a coffee in the hospital. And yeah, so I guess I'll talk to you guys when we get out and uh, we'll see what's happening. So we've just come out of the Proton Center, which is there, and we're all set for tomorrow. Um, it's it's all right to be fair. Now, we, now I know a bit more what's going on. Um, and yeah, we're going heading back to the apartment now, chill out, and then we're back tomorrow to get the mask fitted, which will be an experience in itself. And they also they also seem keen to for me to vlog in there as well, which seems pretty good. So hopefully, once I get my feet set in, um, maybe try whipping out the camera, see what they say. 
Yeah, that's a good idea. All done. Plan of action now is we're heading to the food hall to get some food. So let's get to that. And there we go, we are back in the apartment, however this time, we are alone. Um, by the way, we can literally go and spy on some people that are working their normal office jobs. Here are the offices. There you go. You ever seen The Office? Don't need to watch it mate, you can just come and watch this instead. On a level though, today's been great. Um, obviously, we are mum and that coming up as well has helped. Um, However, it's just one of them. I mean, normally I spend a lot, as you guys know, I spend a lot of time at home on my own anyway. So I'm kind of used to it. Um, but yeah, the grind never stops. Couch to 5K still has to be done. It's a run day today as well, of course. So we will be going down to do that in just a second. But luckily there is a gym here. You saw in yesterday's vlog anyway. Um, so yeah, gonna go, that's how I'm gonna spend most of my evening. Gonna go down there and do that run. I've never really ran on a treadmill before. Well, I've never done couch to 5k on a treadmill. So that'll be interesting. And we're just going to chill out. I don't really know what to do. Maybe watch some on Netflix or something? <laughs> don't know. What would I normally do when I'm at home? I can edit the video. I can edit the, the big video. That's probably going to be my evening. Editing that, uh, who wants to be a millionaire. Sounds like a plan. However, going to get changed. Then we're going to head down for couch to 5k. So we are already to go for our treadmill couch to 5k run. I've never done it on a treadmill before, so this is the first time for everything. Um, and yeah, I guess we're gonna find out how it goes. Literally, I don't have any words. Um, I just hope that the treadmill's free, because there's only two in there. So ideally, let's hope nobody's in there, and then we're good. If there is somebody in there, hopefully they're not on the treadmills, and then I can go on the treadmill. Or if there's one person in there, that's fine, as long as I've got a treadmill. But, Let's go and get this couch 5k done. Obviously, I'm gonna bring a water with me. Um, and those, I guess I could bring my bag and bring my camera and stuff. If no one's in there, I'll get my camera out, you know what I mean? So yeah, let's do that. Let's head down to the gym for a cheeky little couch to 5k run. Let's do it. never sweated so much in my life. That was tough. Now when I say that was tough, I mean that was tough. Like, I don't know if you can see, but I had literal sweat dropping into my eyes. I was running on the trip, I couldn't see at one point because there was that much sweat dripping off me. I mean, maybe it's because I was running on a treadmill, I wasn't running in like, the open air, I don't know, but generally, I wasn't really tired, it's more my muscles, my muscles can't keep up with how how fit I am breathing wise, I know there's a more technical term for that, but like, I feel like, like, what's it called, I know the word, I can't think of it, but like, that side of things, I'm alright now, I'm at the level where I'm supposed to be, but it's, it's the lack of my muscles, I don't know if it's because of my weight, but like my legs, man, when we're running that treadmill then, so tough. Anyway, I want to talk about what happened today, um, but first, obviously, as you can tell, I need to have a shower, because I am soaking wet with sweat. Sorry if you are in your dinner, by the way. That, that would have been a bit grim, but let's pretend it's water, all right? Let me go have a shower, and I'll be back with you. I can't even explain how much I needed that shower. Oh my God, I feel so much better now, though. It wasn't that the room, it's like I said, it wasn't like I was out of breath. I was handling it like that side of things fine. 
it was my muscles. I feel like my muscles now are struggling to keep up. Because maybe it's because of my weight, I don't know. Either way, um, I've just text my uh, key worker for the radiotherapy and there might be a few changes to the diet. Of course, if I can get my mask fitted tomorrow, I don't know if I can stay on the diet because I'll be losing weight or gaining, well, most probably losing weight. Um, so I don't think I can lose weight because then the mask won't fit. So I'll find out the answers tomorrow and let you know tomorrow. However, I want to go over what we covered today. This just isn't going to work, is it? How can I balance this? <laughs> He's worked it out, boys! Oh, no, he hasn't. Come on. I'm just going to have to sit further back. There we go. So, today, as you guys saw, I went and had my meeting with the doctor. First things first, had my blood taken. That was, you know, standard to have so many blood tests. I mean, I've still got a bruise in this arm from yesterday's. Um, and they went in this arm, which is fine. Blood tests really don't bother me anymore. That was done, and then we waited to see the main doctor. Now, they actually gave me a booklet. Where is that? I think it's in my bag. The blue book of faith. So we get, they gave me this. It has all information on including the consent forms I signed. Now, you know, if you've ever been to the hospital, you've ever had an operation or treatment, you'll know what consent forms like, look like even. They're quite scary, I'm not gonna lie. However, um, I signed it, of course I did. I'm not gonna not sign it, so I did sign it. And that's that done. It also just has loads of information about the Proton Therapy Center. I'm sure every single person goes to there gets this. So if you are by chance, you know, watching this vlog, thinking, oh my god, I'm dreading going to the radiotherapy, proton radiotherapy centre, wherever, whichever one it may be, trust me, you'll be completely fine. I was dead anxious, I don't know why I was, because it was it, it was so easy. As soon as I went in, right, everybody was so friendly. Someone met me and was like, okay, yeah, yeah, come with me, I'll give you a tour. They took me around the whole place, they showed me all the different floors, they showed me where I can get a drink if I was thirsty for free. Um, and then I bumped into another woman, uh, her name is Claire, and she worked for Teenage Cancer Trust, and she literally, instantly, once we got talking, instantly calmed all my nerves and anxiety, I had about the mask getting fitted tomorrow. Like, they've just gone. I mean, I just want to smash it out of the park now and get it done. So, that kind of wise, unbelievable support. So, if by any chance anyone from the, the Proton Therapy Centre in Manchester stumbles across this video, thank you. I do appreciate you guys. Um, I'm ready for it now, I think. I'm, I'm more mentally ready, you know what I mean? But other than that, not really a lot happened today. We got this book, we went through it, we spoke to the doctor. The doctor actually showed me um, my scans, my recent scan and then my first scan. The difference in the tumour obviously is still massive um, since, I had my, since I had my operation. And obviously they're concerned because the two scans from my most recent one and then my one that I had like three months before that, there is slight growth that's coming back. So they were just a bit concerned really. So yeah, that information booklet was very, very helpful and sign the consent forms, no problem. We also got the details of my key worker. So we've always got that, which is great. And like I said, all the, every single member of staff I spoke to was 100% friendly. Um, and literally like super duper supportive, so thank you. I really appreciate you guys if you somehow stumble across this video, which I highly doubt. So yeah, it's all about planning for tomorrow now. Um, it's an early start, gotta get up at like six. The shuttle bus is at 6.45, and then I'm getting my mask fit at like nine, I think? Something like that anyway. Either way, should be fun, should be great fun. Um, and then we're back in Stafford on Friday. Hopefully, fingers crossed. It depends on if, they, if they've if they got all their information, they won't need me in Friday. So they'll let me know Thursday night. If they need more imagery to like, you know, to plan the whole thing, they need to stay Friday too. So we'll play it by, we'll see how it goes. And then two to three weeks back at home, normal life, as more normal as I can. Um, and then 
we're back up here. I estimated the 12th to start our full treatment. Well, probably the 11th if it starts on the 12th, or whenever it starts. So yeah, plan of action is initiated. Okay, I, I wouldn't say I'm excited. I'm more nervous, but I'm not as nervous as I was this morning. You know what I mean? Like, I was super nervous this morning. Unbelievably nervous. Like, I can't even put to words how nervous I was. So I'm glad I'm not that nervous now. However, that is going to be the end of this vlog today because I need to get this edited and uploaded in time because I'm going to have no time to do it tomorrow. So I need to get it done now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, smack that like button. Please do make sure you subscribe so you can follow me on this journey. I feel like documenting it as much as I didn't start daily vlogging for this is going to help us in the long run because one, it will be on the internet for me to look back on in years to come, hopefully, when, you know, I'm... Um, cancer free um, and the treatment worked fingers crossed touch wood and then yeah and I guess everyone else can see it all 3,000 of you guys that subscribed so far so thank you honestly for sharing support on these vlogs it means a lot like I said it's mostly for personal like personal reasons why I'm doing it and why I'm doing the vlog but uh, it, it always is nice to see you guys sharing your support like every single vlog so far has hit over 100 likes like every single one, which is crazy. To Thinking back to 2016, I did 190 daily vlogs in a row, right? And most of them didn't even get, didn't even hit 50 likes, you know what I mean? So to think there's double that, like some of them are only getting 12 likes and I was filming my day, it was like a 10 minute vlog and it was getting 12 likes and like 70 views, you know what I mean? So luckily my main channel got to a point where I knew I could start daily vlogging again. And mostly it was going to be for fitness reasons. Unfortunately, we can't really do that anymore. Well, we're still doing it. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, I don't know what the situation is with that. I'm, I've messaged my key worker to find out. Um, and hopefully, well, we'll find out. Whatever happens, happens. You know, this is the treatment side of things is the most, is the priority now. So we'll get that out of the way. As soon as treatment's done, back to everything we're doing. I definitely want to keep the couch to 5K up though. That's definitely the plan for that. Thanks for watching this video. If you did enjoy, like I said, smack a like. Make sure you do subscribe. And if you wanna, if you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section below. If you are a patient that's gonna be going through Proton, any questions, I'll do my best from my knowledge to tell you guys what I know so far. Um, if you're just someone that wants to chat, leave us a comment down below. I'll reply. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another video. Peace.